Howdy folks, I'm Part Time, and you're watching Part Time's Tips and Tricks to Fast Draw. In this video series, I'm going to show you how to get started in the sport, and if you've already been shooting for a while, who knows, you might even pick up something you never thought of before. So stay tuned. So these are the guns we use in the sport of fast draw. These are all single action, 45 long coat revolvers. This is called an open top. This is a replica of the original cap and ball pistol used during the Civil War. It was later changed over to cartridges. It has a half cock position. When you open the load gate, you can load the cylinder. When you clean it, barrel comes off cylinder is taken out then the barrel and the cylinder can be cleaned in the back of the gun you can see the hand fall as it raises and lowers to rotate the cylinder This is a Colt clone. It's a replica of the original Colt Peacemaker. Different than the open top, it's a solid frame, although it has a half cock position for loading and unloading. When you clean it, you remove the main pin and take out the cylinder. You can clean the barrel and the cylinder. You can also see here, hand fall, as in the open top, rotates the cylinder. Now an interesting fact about the open top and the peacemaker, when you put these guns in the half cock position, it rotates the cylinder in the right position to load the shell and as it clicks it clicks into position to load and unload each shell the next gun i'm going to show you is the original ruger vaquero some people call this the old vaquero it's basically a reproduction of the colt peacemaker the difference is these two guns have flat springs inside them that tend to fatigue and can break over time this gun was designed with coiled springs inside of it that hold up a little better. This gun was actually built for sash shooters originally as a more durable, durable type gun. One of the first things you'll notice about it, different from the Peacemaker, as it has a fixed firing pin, the Ruger Vaquero has a transfer bar. See how it raises up as you cock the gun? and it drops down when you let off the trigger. The reason for that, on the original Peacemaker, the firing pin sticks through the breech of the gun. So one of the chambers in the cylinder was left empty so that if the gun was dropped or the hammer got hit, it wouldn't set off, set off and actually discharge the bullet. With the transfer bar, the hammer doesn't actually rest on the firing pin. Therefore, the firing pin doesn't stick through the breech. That allows, allows you to carry all six shells in this gun. Now for Cowboy Fast Draw, we only load five shells, as I showed you, I will show you in another video. Reason being, for, first and foremost, is for safety in case of a drop gun, because some people still use the Colt clones and the Peacemakers. But most importantly, it gives you a place to index your shells. So as you're on the line and you're shooting, you can look at the side of your gun and see how many shots you got left. Now when they built the original Vaquero, when you open the load gate, it frees the cylinder. It doesn't have a half cock position. You can't cock the gun, you can't fire the gun. This is a safety feature. 
But when they built the original Vaquero, if you'll notice, when you open the load gate, the hole in the cylinder is not lined up. When you click it, it clicks just past the cylinder. So you have to thumb this gun over and load it just before you get the click. Now what happened is when they made this gun, they took the half cock out of it. So if you were to half cock this, it would actually rotate the cylinder in the correct position. Once they realized the problem, they came out with a Ruger new Vaquero. It's basically built just like the old Vaquero, but it's a smaller frame, a little lighter weight, more like the Peachmaker. And when you open the load gate on it, it clicks in the proper position. And how they did that, let me show you on the original Vaquero. If you'll notice, just like the Peacemaker and the Colt clone, the hand paw is sticking out into the back of the gun. That's what causes a clicking noise when you rotate the cylinder. It also prevents the cylinder from going backwards. But on the Colts and Colt clones, when you half cock the gun, it raises that hand paw up enough to rotate the cylinder in the correct position to load the shell. On the new Vaquero, they made the hand paw drop back into the frame and they added an index pin. You see it right here, it's a little spring-loaded pin. That's what causes the clicking noise in the new Vaquero and that's what indexes the cylinder so you can load it. Of all of these guns, the Ruger New Vaquero is probably the most widely used gun in the sport of fast draw because of its durability and its lighter weight. Second most common would be the Peacemaker or Peacemaker Replica. All of these guns, but the original Vaquero, have four and three quarter inch barrels. That's the shortest barrel allowed in the sport of fast draw. That barrel length is used because of speed. You'll also notice that on most of these guns, the sights have been ground off. Since we don't aim at our target, we don't need them. And we want these guns to be as smooth coming out of the holster as possible. And that's the guns we use for fast draw.